Hello and welcome to another edition of It's Just Our Opinion. Today we want to do the 28th episode. Believe it or not, 28 episodes. I appreciate all of you tuning in. I guess you're wondering who is the special guest we have here today. If you remember last week, I mentioned about my little granddaughter, uh, the, the Izzy Grace, that come in second in the beauty contest in Florida, the state of Florida. She come in second in a Lula Panda thing for March. She was second in Florida. And so give her a five. Hi. She, we are so proud to have her. She has just been dying to be on the show ever since I got started. Uh, like I say, it, it took 28 to get her on here. But now I've mentioned her a few times. But she is a sweetheart. She loves the cameras. And she's going to be with us. Well, thank you again for tuning in. I want you to know I, I, everybody's still being affected by this COVID-19. I'm not going to talk about it much tonight because, you know, People just get tired of it. It's serious, and it's a, something that's going on all across the country, and it's changing everybody's life. It's changing the way we do stuff. And even Izzy, Izzy has just told me when, when they come on and talk about it now, she likes to change the channels. She's just seen too much of it already. And, and no, she's not being homeschooled right now. She's, she's not even ready for school. She is nearly, nearly five months. She's, she's just growing so much. Uh, that little thing on her head, she just, she just not sure she likes it or not, but she makes her pretty though. So we're keeping it. So we're not going to talk about that much today. You know, the weather has been great lately. We're getting a lot of rain, but, but the weather's been great. We've had some 70 degree days and, you know, we got a pond in the backyard. We've <clears throat> been doing a lot of fishing and, and my daughter come up, uh, which is, uh, Michael, which is, of course, is, is, uh, Izzy's mama. And, and, and my two grandsons next door, they've been down fishing today. They was catching some three pound catfish. Three pound. Is that right? That was a bunch. Well, that's some big ones, wasn't it? Izzy. Izzy couldn't quite reel them in yet, but she's going to here in a few months. She'll be reeling some of those fish in. And what do you think? You know, we just, we just love to fish and she loves to fish too when she gets bigger. Uh, cause Papa's got the pond ready for her. You know, I found an interesting fact out today. I had never really thought much about it. We got armadillos everywhere. Me and my wife, we used to have them in the field out beside the house, and we'd try to run over them if we could because we didn't want to pick one of them up. But I found out today that their shells are bulletproof. Did you know that, Izzy? The shells are bulletproof. There was a guy in Texas uh, actually shot at one, and it ricocheted off the shell and come back and hit him, and he had to go to the hospital and stay a while and, and get that bullet out. I never knew that. I never knew that. I mean, I guess that's why it didn't hurt them sometime when we run over them. And so I don't, you know, I don't know uh, how fast we go in or nothing like it when we try to run over them because, you know, we, we just, we just never did run over many that might, you know, so I need to, to know, uh, what do you do when you see one? Don't shoot at it unless you got a good angle. And so, you know, uh, be sure you know what you're doing when you want to shoot an armadillo. You know, uh, Izzy here is trying to wave at everybody. I don't know if she sees somebody that she knows out there. Maybe she knows what time it is. Her papa don't know what time it is because, uh, you know, it's, I ain't got my watch with me today. And, and so I just didn't know what time it was either. You know, I do want to mention something about this, this COVID-19. Not, I'm not going to get no detail, but you know, all the beaches have been closed. Ellie, uh, Izzy, did you know that the beaches have been closed? She hadn't been to the beach now in several, several weeks. But now she's a beach person because she lives in Navarre, pretty close to the beach. But you know, the beaches have been closed and you know, every night all those waves come up and they, wash them shells in. Can you imagine when they open all the beaches back up? And I think Navarre Beach opens up, I believe, next week. And so uh, imagine the shells that's going to be on there that people are going to be running down trying to get because as them pretty shells wash up at night. Now, I don't know if, if, if Izzy's going to be there trying to get one or not, but can you imagine the, the people that's going to flood in? You know, I've seen, I seen in the uh, paper uh, uh, news and stuff the other day I guess it was last Friday when they opened Jacksonville Beach they showed all these pictures with thousands of people on the beach and then I seen on Facebook where they was putting news clips where it wasn't a real picture that the pier in the background had washed away during the during the hurricanes and so you know I don't know I don't know if, how many people's going to turn out at the beaches but I guarantee it'll be a bunch of people when they do open them up that's going to have shells uh, sacks 
they're going to fill them up with shells and stuff. And so, you know, that's going to be interesting. What do you think? What do you think, little Izzy? Yeah, she, she's probably not going to get any shells, but I guarantee you in a couple of years, because she lives at the beach just right down the road from it. Ain't that right? And she's, she's waving at y'all again, too. So, so you know, she loves to be – every now and then she spits up like that. You know, she ain't chewing tobacco. I know some of y'all think she's got a lot of tobacco in her mouth, but she don't. She's just sitting here talking and having fun. Now, I know a lot of you is looking at my shirt, and you're seeing it says on there, Build Intelligence. Now, my wife really didn't think I ought to wear that shirt a few minutes ago because – when it says build intelligence, you know, we build a lot of stuff here on the farm. And most time it takes us forever to get it finished. So uh, she probably thinks I don't go by this shirt that says build intelligence. So I don't build a whole lot of stuff real good. What do you think? You don't you don't know either? Well, she's going to build a lot of stuff intelligent. She's, she's just having fun on the show. Uh, you know, well, it's the first time she's been on it. We've had some of the other grandkids on and uh, hope to have all of them. You know, we got five. We hope to have all of them on here before too long at the same time and let them tell us what they think about school being out. But, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people uh, don't want to talk about homeschooling right now. And, you know, after October, we're going to have number six. And so then we'll just really have a house full. We'll just have them all around here. But, you know, I know all of y'all are probably about as proud of you grandkids as I am. I just love all of them. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to get her started because, you know, this show here, it's just our opinion. You know, this is my, my 28th uh, version, and I know pretty soon uh, when I get a little older, she's probably going to want to take over the show and, and start being the one that, that runs it for me and everything. And so, well, you know, she don't have a lot of comments right now, you can tell. But right now, it looks like she got a little spit up on her mouth. But, you know, that's what babies do. But she's still pretty, even with spit up. You know, we starting to feed her. We starting to feed her now some of these vegetables. And tonight was green bean night. Green bean night. And she loves them. She opens her mouth like a little bird. I know some of y'all feed you your grandbabies and stuff. And you feed your kids, too, some of this some of this food here. She got a foot out, too. Y'all notice that big club she got on her? She got a big old foot. Uh, but, but, you know, she loves, we just started feeding her that about three weeks ago and she loves the carrots. She loves the squash and the green beans and the peas. And now uh, her mama, her mama wants to buy her bananas and stuff like that. But, you know, some of y'all mamas and daddies out there know, and grandmas and grandpa know, if you start feeding these babies this young, all that sweet stuff, they ain't coming back to them green beans and, and squash because they don't taste near as good, does it? She sure don't, but she loves them right now. Well, look, I appreciate you tuning in. I hope if you like this show that you'll share it with your friends, your family, your neighbors, and everybody. And, and, and let's, you know, last week's show, believe it or not, last week's show was shared 17 times, and we had a little over 6,000 viewers. We're averaging about 6,000 views now every show. And so if you'll share it with your friends and your family and your your uh, people that, you know, if you don't like it, share it with people you don't like. Maybe they won't, maybe they won't like it, either, but at least they'll watch it, and we'll get 7,000 views. But I appreciate you tuning in. Share it with your family, your friends, and, and, and I just appreciate everything that, that, that little Izzy has said here tonight. She has just been real vocal. Uh, you couldn't hear it. She does a lot of sign language. But uh, appreciate it. Remember, we've said a lot of stuff here tonight. But everything we said, it's just our opinion. <laughs>